Hello and welcome to Alma, Missouri. And this is the finale. Our very last episode. So we've just been to the bank and we've decided to sell everything up. What I did do is I did adjust the balance that we had. We had uh, over two million. Um, I basically took the 100,000 that we started with and added up all the equipment and then I subtracted that off our balance so we've we don't owe anything you've just been having a look at the the bonus that I bought myself a nice little motorbike and we'll use that to run around as we start selling things off so we'll sell off all the assets that we have in the town the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sell the the oil processing plant so we won't be able to sell the pizzeria and the bakery and all those things that we sold up because that was part of the the original um, town this wasn't so we can sell that we added that in and then we'll head over to the mayonnaise factory and we'll go and sell that So yeah, as I mentioned, um, all the starting equipment plus the starting balance I've subtracted off the funds that we made over the last couple of months. We harvested all those fields. We've still got all the crop in the silos, which still needs to be sold as well. And um, yeah, so basically we just want to see how much we get away with. We've done pretty much five years on the on the farm. And we'll see if they were a good five years or not once we've sold everything. Well, we're already um, up a million basically. We don't owe, owe anything else. Right, so here we are back at the farm. So that's the mayonnaise sold, the, the oil farm sold, or the oil uh, processing plant. And we will just sell the shop we also put the little garage in before the garage was changed in an update let's get back on the bike and go and have a look and we'll get rid of all the all the buildings that we've put in we'll not get rid of we'll sell all the buildings that we've put in we've, uh, put all the equipment up in a nice little square and we will sell those as well at a latest well, towards the end of the video Let's just get rid of these. They're not huge value, but they do. They they will add up. Of course, uh, you will remember in the last episode we we did repay all the loans. Take out all the all the watering points that we put in. We sold all the animals, of course, um, and that was in the. In the initial mount before we subtracted the so I think it was uh, about 2.3 million that we had uh, realized in terms of the all the sales over the last couple of months uh, since March basically we are now in September We have a little bit of stock in some of the productions, but not much. All these lean-tos, which were quite useful it's for the bits and pieces, keep the snow off them in the winter months. That was the original barn, so we will leave that in. Our workshop. That was where we originally put all our headers. And then we'll sell our shed. We've got a couple of liquid uh, pellets, pellets of liquid fertilizer, which I can't really sell. It was just not worth the effort. And that's our big barn that we put in, sold. The productions, 
as I said, the uh, well, there's nothing in the clothing one, but there was a little bit of stuff. There's quite a bit of sugar beet left in there, and there's quite a few potatoes in there. Um, I was hoping that they would actually s sell the product that was in there, but it didn't. Right, so we're just down at the at the apple orchard. It's a bit of stock castle. I didn't close this one down. I did close a lot of the productions down in the last episode. So this continued to pre process, but at least we'll uh, get a bit of income in there. Where we're sitting now at about 1.5 million. So we're getting there. We still got the land to sell. We're not going to sell the original farmland because that did come with uh, what we started with. There we go. That's the last of that all sold. We brought in a little bit. There's probably still a little bit of honey to sell the beehives. sell all the apple trees as well. Yeah, it's it, it's basically just to see, um, as I said, we've pretty much farmed for, for five years, so it's an interesting little, little, oh, I suppose a uh, interesting it will be interesting to find out to see whether we how much we've made per year of course in the first couple of years we weren't making much at all and then once we started um pretty much once we built a mayonnaise factory it kind of really really moved into top gear then The early years were quite a bit of slog, quite a bit of reliance on the bank, which you need to do because you need to be able to grow big enough to make to make some money. We'll have to get rid of the decorations, otherwise we won't be able to sell the f the field. We didn't buy a huge amount of fields, but we bought some big fields. And um, if you remember, we decided to just have that basic top corner. We did buy the field across the road because of the mistake that we made with planting canola in the in the big field. Instead of, uh, I think we wanted to plant wheat there, so we needed to increase the wheat production. If at uh, that stage we didn't know we were going to be selling up and moving on. Didn't notice it until after I'd um, put them on that the taps were actually connected to the trees. This little apple, apple orchard has also done pretty well financially. decorations don't bring in much money but sell the farms market that's pretty much it right let's get on to the land sales so just work out what we're gonna sell so that's the one of the big fields field 9 or field 10 is it We'll sell that, that brings in a nice tidy sum. And then this is the other big field. Field two it was, yeah. And that should bring in a fair amount. 
it will be interesting to see how this sells because um, we did chop off a bit of it to put the productions up on. So let's have a look. Yep, it sells. Another 500,000, so it's another million there. Field 8, much smaller. That should have no problem selling. Yep, nice and easy. Field 7. Yep, also nice and easy. Field 30. Yep, that's that done. Right, so with the other little field there, we'll have to go and remove the car sheds before we can sell that. So let's get over there now quickly and go and sort out the car sheds. I am enjoying my new toy. <laughs> oh, they shouldn't have too much problem selling. I did have a couple of placeables on there as well, um, or decorations, should I say? Just remember, just hope I remember where all of them are. So with the field that we had the. The honey farm on there's still something that I'm missing in terms of having to sell there, but we'll go back and find that out. I think I know what it is, but we'll have to just make sure. Those bales will just sell with the field. Well, they won't sell with the field, they just remain on the field. I'm not going to transport them back now. I think these little rocks that we put in there, the trees that we put in, no, but those those don't come out, so they shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yep, that's it. I think that's the last lot. It should be just about everything. I think. Let's see if it sells. See if I've missed something. I don't think so. Let's have a look there. Field 3 it is, yeah. It doesn't look like it's going to be... Yeah, yeah, it's sold, so it's no problem at all. So we've just got to go back up to field, to field 12. And there is still something... There's still something there. Let's just see. Yeah, you, so there's still an object there. Not quite sure what it is. Well, we'll head on back there. And I think I think it's um, the accumulation point for the beehives for the beehive pallets. I think that's what it is. Yeah, there you can just see the the blue marker there. So now we're just going to try and sell that. Might as well ride over there on a new machine. Oops. Not great on the balance. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there it is there. I just put the uh, trigger points on. Just so that I could see exactly where it was. Yep. And now we can see whether we can sell this piece of land. Should be able to. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Right, so that's all the land sold. Field 1, we're not going to sell, which is the field the farm has on, because that's what we started with. So we'll just leave that as it is at the moment. And let's... Well, we don't want to sell it now in any event, because we've still got produce to sell there. Just put that back on. Right, I'm going to sell all the vehicles now. And the process will just be to take them up to the temporary um, workshop and sell it through there, just paint them up again. We did do a lot of the painting, so it shouldn't be huge amounts just to top up the painting. 
and we'll get that sorted out. Well, we'll let you have a little watch of this and we'll play some music while it's happening.
Well, here we are back again. Um, just before we sell all the trailers, I think I will sell the product that we have in the silos just in case we need to transport anything. Don't want to have to rebuy a trailer. Um, so yeah, we'll get that. We'll get that one sold. We've got a couple of trailers there. I think we'll go over and do some sales in the global market so manure should bring in a tidy shum here and wheat we've got a nice big amount there 177,000 odd canola this should bring in a whack 600,000 nice seeds oh, that's not much that's just what was left over straw won't bring in a huge amount, but it'll be okay. 40,000. This is what was left over in stock. Lime, another little bit of left over in stock. Barley. Yeah, that's a nice, decent amount. Soya beans. It's just the one in there. It'll cost us to get rid of that. Hey. Yeah, not to be scoffed at. Straw. Huge amount of straw in terms of volume. And manure, that's a little bit of manure that was that I put into the storage. This is just a little bit of milk that we had left over. A little bit of straw still in the in the barn. A little bit more wheat, so I think that's in our Flat bins, bit of barley in there as well. Canola, reasonable amount that was in the station area. That's that all sold. So we right up to just over six million with all the sales of the vehicles, and uh, still got a couple of vehicles to sell. So pretty much everything sold now. Just a couple of more trailers. We've got the sprayers, those will bring in a, quite a bit. And the John Deere spray, well, spraying system, let's put it that way. Got the fence to sell as well. And this trailer, that's also fairly valuable. Yeah, so we, we're not looking too bad. been working a bit so has lost a bit of paint 305,000 there are we gonna make 7 million this is the question still got a couple of tractors to sell I think we might with that uh, John Deere spraying system still to come through I'm surprised that that brought in them the amount of money that it did right Let's get these all up into the sale area and get them sold. Try and sell them together. Oops, come on. <laughs> there we go. We still got the original John Deere to sell as well as the young Heinrich. Yeah, it's bringing some decent money. And we're over the 7 million. We definitely won't make 10 million, but uh, yeah, should be well into 7 million in the five years. So it's averaged out at over a, a million a year. Not to be scoffed at, as they say in the classics. <laughs> Young Heinrich, I think that should bring in a reasonable amount. Was used pretty sparingly. Yeah, thirty-eight thousand. Not to be scoffed at again. Right, we can sell the workshop now. 
Oh, we've still got a, a chainsaw and a, and a shovel. Well, how we got a shovel? Can't remember buying that. Not sure why I bought that. I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> we're definitely not selling our bike that's going with us. The belt systems are here when we arrived, so we'll leave that there with the um, with the silos. So this is something that we built ourselves, just to aid the auctioneers. And we've got the silos that we've built up, um, that we've put in that we can sell. So we've got the two round multi-fruit side silos and the, um, we've also got the, the silage dryer that can be sold as well. And that I think is the last of it. Should be empty. Yeah, near, near enough. Uh, now the question is, will you make seven and a half, uh, 7.5 million? I think it'll be touch and go. I think I've been reasonably fair, fair with um, how we've worked out the profits. Uh, I don't think I've took too, taken too many liberties with starting stuff. Starting equipment, kind of taken it all into account. Did subtract it off from the from the funds that we had when we started this process. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to quite make 7.5 million, but it's not far off. Well, that's where we're going to end the series as we drive off back into the sunset, so to speak. Just go back the way we came. I have really enjoyed this map. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've enjoyed all the undulations and as American maps go, my absolute favorite. There's, a, there's been a lot to do. The fields have been big, but not unmanageable. Whoa, there we go. You get on the bike and you go wild, taking liberties. And this is pretty much the way we came in, except we came in on a little John Deere. Well, that's where we're going to end this series. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!